Hey everybody, Astro Boy here. And it is time for, we're gonna call this episode one of our <clears throat> Minecraft Noob to, uh, 18 series, I guess. Something, I haven't figured out what I'll call this. I have a link to the technical uh, first episode here, but I decided I'll do a status update uh, here uh, for my niece and for anyone else who's interested. So, as we load, more terrain in. I love this seed. I've never had one like this, so this has just been just really cool. Um, but yeah, so if you notice from the previous episode in my Minecraft noob, I think it was episode 11, because I was showing <clears throat> how my old seed uh, in 1.16.4 and 1.17 what it turned into in 1.18. So another pillager uh, group came by and lost. So this whole outside area, I'm just gonna have it for pillager deals. So uh, inside, everything has been walled off in stone. And what we got white terracotta ceilings. I wish Minecraft had actual proper Furnitures besides like the bed and, and the chest and the workstations um, But yeah, so you have to build Fence post and a trap door to build a table It's kind of silly to me, but <clears throat> whatever uh, But yeah, this is the bedroom So the only change is I Don't remember if everything was bricked off Concrete bricking or not these uh, not stone bricks or the main thing they're out th throughout the whole house now um so and then of course in the crafting room i think i had these floors down but if not now yeah, we got these uh polished terracotta floors because they match the the uh, enchantment table and speaking of enchantments yeah buddy not sure about knockback, but I made a second sword to try to give myself more, um... Well, actually, I was looking for looting three. <laughs> Didn't get it, sadly. So, that kind of sucks, I'm not gonna lie. But, mending is good, and sharpness four is pretty good, and fire aspect two is good. Um, we got silk touch on the diamond axe, that was really nice. And efficiency went up to five, so that was insanely good. Um, efficiency on the on the on the uh, pickaxe went up to five too, and I got fortune three. Which actually, I think I had fortune three before. Anyway, and then the shovel I haven't worked on it much. I got efficiency four though, so that's kind of cool. And then you know. I need to work on some of this to get it better. I've got a shield uh, in the other room. Uh, I think it has mending on it and that's it. So no big deal. It's nice having a villager that can give me mending so I can put mending on anything I want. So I did some rearrangement in here so that we could have a, what I call a, a coal chest. So we can put coal in. I thought I heard a pillager for a second there, but I don't see one. Um, yeah, we got plenty of food. And because of that sword, <laughs> I killed a bunch of cows with the sword and man. So, crafting room and then this is where I can dump stuff if I'm, you know, temporary storage for one crafting stuff. So, and then there's just I kind of like the idea of it looking out into this little lit cavern. And I need to put a cauldron in here. This is going to be my brewing area. And then this is the furnace deal. And then this is the uh, whole box again. I like it. I like it a lot. And then this is, of course, the storeroom. So we pushed out that away. A lot more than I thought but uh, I'm not sure how much I'll need but you know it's kind of nice having all this stuff 
I do have a ton of, of things I don't need, but I thought, well, if nothing else, I can always use this as a spillover. This, you know, can be a spillover for this, since we're getting close. And then we got more stone crap. Um, yeah, so, there's gravel galore. Don't know what I'm gonna put here. Now, in the brick one, I've also got clay. Clay is much more plentiful in 1.18. I love that. Um, it was very stingy before. So we've got all the naturally occurring colors, I think, of uh, terracotta here. And then I discovered that with normal terracotta, that's orange. Just... Okay. With this, you can actually dye it and you can actually get other weirdo colors. So, I don't know. I mean, if worse comes to worse, I'll rearrange stuff, but uh, yeah, we got a little bit of obsidian. Do I need to make uh, uh, a thingy <laughs> at some point in time? But yeah, not sure I need two for each of the metals because it's not like, I mean, sorry, that's just not gonna fill that fast. I did go out exploring, found, <clears throat> not a massive cavern i did find some pretty big caverns but it was a just a long freaking connection of 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 cave systems and it was just insane how huge it was basically i had i had three and a half stacks of, of torches and i ran out and then i had to find my way out uh which i looked out because I, I got turned around. It's easy to do in these bloody caves. Um, but, yeah. But in the process, I found a boatload of iron. So, you know, I don't, I'm not going to need iron for a while. And I don't really care about copper. It's not really my thing. But, you know. The only reason I've been collecting gold is just... Because when I go into the nether, I do want to uh, trade with piglins. So... Now, what do we got out here? Well, this is more of a... Just to access this cave area partially in case we ever wanted to. Uh, um, a lot of stone here in case I ever needed it for some reason. But we could also expand out. But I also thought something I might do is make the uh, portal room in here. And then we could see it from the glass. That's actually what I'm thinking about doing. The uh, nether portal. That would be kind of fun. But, uh... Haven't done that yet. But it is on the uh, list of things that I need to do. So, that's the house tour. We go out back here. And, um... See what we got. All right, so let's take a peek. It's getting night, but we're in spectator mode. So we got our ocelot still trapped in this house. Um, haven't decided to get anyone else. Uh, we got a path going up to the spider farm, which we can look at. And then over here, <clears throat> I don't have anything growing right now, but this is the tree farm with its um, retaining wall. I don't know why. I just decided to plant a rose here. Just weird. I may put something else up here. Um, but yeah, I had a rose. Actually, I was gonna put it in, in my domicile and then it just didn't work out, so, um, but yeah. Uh, I thought this was a big place for growing trees and it wasn't quite as big as I thought when you start growing trees um, yeah it's it's a little bit tricky it really is so but unfortunately I mean like jungle trees I got tons of so I don't need to grow those here uh, unless I just don't want to go into the jungle and cut down any um, there are some oak in the jungle, and then back down this way, 
toward the end where you see that torch light off in the distance um, there's the Aspen or whatever they are in the game and Oak as well so <clears throat> So I can grow them, and then I do have some jungle, uh, uh, not jungle, but um, uh, whatever the wood is that grows in the, the, the uh, savanna biome, that kind of an orange wood. I have grown a few of those trees here. They grow really whack. That's what I was meaning. They, they spread out so much, you can't grow as many, you know, maybe eight tops in this section. So I may need to... Uh, I may need to push it out more uh, in two directions if I want a lot of trees. The, the thing is, what I need is to go exploring and find some dark oak and some spruce. So that's what needs to be found. I love this. I love the look. You know, the combining the stone. I need to kind of fix some aesthetics though, but um, yeah. This is going to go away. All my fish are gone. I think one of them went down uh, when we hadn't, when we accidentally breached it. It went down in this water hole and um, stuff. Hey, Chris! By the way, for you guys on YouTube, we were recording this live on Twitch. So, yeah, it's simplistic, but I'm still a noob, you know. So for me, this is a major. I'm serious. I've never built four structures before. Now, granted, this one is a kind of a default one that comes with Minecraft. But, you know, hey, it works. Um, but I learned how to build it. I followed a blueprint. And I just customized it with the lamps. So, I may... <clears throat> I may... If I get rid of this and move the lava pit, I may put a fence row up and um and then take these individual little yards down and I'll, i don't know what i would put in here for a job for the villager but you know maybe make these two villagers that live in here this guy is my um librarian this guy is my well he's the one that does sticks so uh yeah I still need to find carrots and we'll take this out and change this and make this a like a carrot beet farm a little bub, bub, not farm but a garden and stuff so let's go look at the spider hole all right so we're now back over here you can see this is the entrance to my um xp farm which is carved into what was an abandoned mine shaft i've cleared out a lot of stuff from the abandoned mine shaft um oops did that wrong so i can hear the spiders coming what's kind of cool though is that the guy that buys the whatever he, what i can't think of what the job is um but he buys the uh yep and now my act my pickaxe is back so i used uh a plan from someone else i'll try to remember to have a, a link to it um but anyway that's kind of what we've been doing it's been you know just a boatload of fun i hear things back off back off oh yeah I love having decent weaponry for once. I'm gonna go. Woo -hoo. Did I bring my bow? I don't think I did. Hell <laughs> oh, yeah! Back off. Bye bye. I'm basically kind of interested in getting their uh, arrows. And then, of course, mending. My goodness, just just made everything so much more fun. We'll come down here and take out these two skeletons. Here. Come on. I don't even have a shield. I'm not afraid of you. Come on. Booyah. Booyah. Ha <laughs> ha. 
It's nice when you got good weapons. You think you can harm me? You can't harm me. Get out of the tree. That's right. Astro and Boy is in the house. Oh, we got a new bird. Very cool. All right, but anyway, yeah. So, and then this is our little path back. I'm not flying anymore because I'm not in that mode, but uh, yeah. So yeah, it's been a lot of fun. I don't know what I'm gonna do next, to be honest. This was the big project that I wanted to work on and now that it's done, I don't know if I want to go to the end. I think I want to explore more. I've got a couple of partial maps here. And, um... Yeah, I, I just think I want to explore. Yeah, this is the one. If you look, there's a village. I marked the village on the map. And so I wanted to mark the other village I know about on this map. Which is just across that little river to the right. I think there's another village over there. So mark that. But then there's all this unexplored area that I need to uh, explore. So I think that's what I want to do. So I don't know when the next update video will be, but um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do one at some point in time, especially if I build uh, some additional things. Kind of want to build a watchtower um, off in the distance and stuff i also want to kind of do a video on uh helping new players um, some things that i wish that i had known uh when i was uh just starting um that would help a ton so anyway hope you liked the video like subscribe all that other fun stuff and we'll see you next video